Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope everybody's doing good today. So I wanna come out here and talk about this case and it's coming from our second favorite state, trifling ass Texas, okay? So what's going on in trifling Texas, you ask? What's going on is that we have a story of an 18 year old girl, her name is Brianna Harmon Talbert. And back in March, she had caused all types of fear and outrage in her community in Denison, Texas where basically she lied and said that three black men in ski masks were responsible for kidnapping her, taking her into the woods, and raping her. She ended up running into a church, and basically she ran in with just bra and panties. She had cuts on her. They ended up calling the police at the church, and they took her to a hospital for a rape kit. And at that point, they felt like something was not adding up, and her story was quickly unraveling, okay? They felt like she wasn't making a lot of sense, not to mention the rape kit came back negative. So after the police were basically prying and asking her more questions, she finally came out to admit that she lied about being raped by these two assailants, and she lied about the man holding her down. Basically, this trailer trash bitch lied about every damn thing, okay? So after the story went viral, a lot of folks were really upset because, you know, as we all know, when white women particularly make up false rape allegations, it tends to be black men who end up hurt, lynched, killed, or thrown in jail behind these allegations. Let's not act like this is the first time this has ever happened, okay? So now it's coming back into the news. Now this story's going viral once again because as of yesterday, the police department in Denison, Texas has decided to take this from a misdemeanor charge to a felony charge, okay? And this young grown ass woman, I'm not calling her a teenager because if this was a black girl who did some shit like this, they would be calling her a woman, okay? So this young white woman is now looking at felony charges. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Thomas, the Denison woman accused of lying about being kidnapped and raped by three men in March has now been indicted. News host Alexis Dominguez is live in the studio. And Alexis, how many years is she facing if she's convicted? 19-year-old Brianna Harmon's story made national news. After lying about being kidnapped and raped, she could face 32 years in prison if convicted on all counts of tampering with physical evidence and tampering with a government record. Harmon was originally arrested on a Class B misdemeanor for filing a false police report. But after looking deeper into her claims, District Attorney Joe Brown believes what she did deserved felony charges. We've looked at the case for several months and obviously there was a lot of um, harm caused and potential harm caused and it just really didn't fit a misdemeanor level offense. Back in March, Harmon reported three black men threw her into a van, drove off, raped her and then told her to get out and run, leading to a several hour manhunt for the alleged suspects. That cost Denison police about $8,000. And the description of the suspects as just three black men is the reason why Shalimar Trailer, who had been visiting his uncle at Creekmore Apartments, believes he was questioned by police. I had to speak with a, an officer about my whereabouts for that day, and of course we had to confirm my uncle's whereabouts for that day as well. Um, it was just strictly, just strictly police business. They, they, just, they were just doing what they had to do. Trailer says he never believed Harmon's story and feels she's getting what she deserves. I'm feeling overjoyed today because uh, justice got served. Um, we as a black community realize that sometimes things fall through the cracks, but we're glad this time it didn't. This is a police officer's and prosecutor's worst nightmares to have somebody make a false claim and then we end up prosecuting somebody and sending them to prison. Brown says they plan to meet with Harmon's lawyer to try to come to a plea agreement. If that fails, they will go to court. We tried reaching out to Harmon, but have not heard back. No word on if she has a lawyer. Live in the studio, Alexis Dominguez, News 12. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So this entire situation is just really, really disturbing. And on top of that, for y'all who don't know, is that she had a fiancé. And her fiancé at the time was a young man named Samuel Hollinsworth. And he had given her a pepper spray and a pocket knife the same day that she reported her abduction. And basically, he said he gave her those items because she was telling her boyfriend that she was scared. She'd been hearing that there was a sex trafficking ring in the area. So he gave her those items to protect her. Well, then he ended up being investigated, but, you know, come to find out he had nothing to do with this whole scheme. Everything was on her. And he's basically trying to move on with his life. But this also affected him as well. So he's no longer her fiance. He's saying that that part of his life is dead. He just wants to move on. 
What I also find disturbing about this case is that I've seen comments online actually feeling sorry for this young bride, okay? You got folks talking about 32 years seems a little harsh. Yeah, it does seem a little harsh, but I don't give a shit because false rape allegations are also harsh. And to me, a false rape allegation on a man can sometimes be just as detrimental as a female being raped, okay? Because those false rape allegations can come back to haunt a man even when he's found not guilty. We saw what happened with the whole Nate Parker situation, okay? And then let's not forget how many numerous stories I've done on my channel about women making false rape allegations. And you have a lot of these feminists out here who do not hold women's feet to the fire when they're the ones making false rape allegations. Now, let me remind you guys of the story of Brian Banks. He was a young teenager from Long Beach, California, and basically one of his classmates who was in love with him lied and said that Brian Banks raped her. This man lost everything. His football scholarship, he ended up going to prison for five years as a teenager, only to come out and basically confront this woman on tape, it was secretly recorded, and she admitted to lying about everything. But on top of that, this fucking ratchet hood rat was also awarded $219,000, okay, over these false rape claims. And of course, her and her hood rat family, they blew through the money. But guess what happened to this woman after everything came out? Guess what happened to her? Not a damn thing. Stupid hood rat, Juanetta Gibson, who lied on Brian Banks back in 2002, in 2013, they ordered her to pay $2.6 million. It is now 2017. Do you think this stupid bride has paid Brian a dime? Hell no. She works a damn minimum wage job. Where the fuck is this bitch supposed to get $2.6 million from? So like I said before, really there's no consequences for this bride's action. And me personally, I wouldn't want a dime from this bride. I would want her to do the same amount of time that I had to do. Being that I had to do five years in prison for a false rape allegation, this big sloppy bitch should have to do five years in prison as well for lying about that damn false rape allegation. Point blank period, okay? Many men go to prison for this all the time. So this woman looking at 32 years to me is really not that harsh. When you have men who are innocent, who, this man even, didn't even touch this female. She just had a crush on him and because he didn't like her back, she made up an entire story. That's dangerous. And we need to start holding people's feet to the fire. If you want to make up stories because you're fucking bored and you have nothing going on in your life, then bitch, be prepared to do the time. Because when you're making up false rape allegations against somebody, you deserve to go to jail. Just like if you rape somebody, you deserve to go to jail. Let's stop coddling bullshit behavior. Let's stop making excuses for her. Because trust and believe that this was a black teenager, nobody would be saying 32 years seems a little harsh. No one would be saying that because she's white, blonde, and blue-eyed, folks are trying to paint her out as a victim. Well, she had a rough childhood. Her mother wasn't there for her. She's a cutter. I don't give a fuck, okay? That means nothing because three black men could have went to jail behind her false allegations. Also, with that being said, we need to also give the police department props. We're so quick to knock the police and say, fuck the police and the police ain't shit. But these police officers actually did their due diligence. Imagine if they wouldn't have, there'd be three black men right now getting ready to be on trial for potentially raping this white female liar, okay? So the police officers in Denison, Texas, they did the damn thing with this case. They spotted out the falsehoods in her story. They called her out and they even took her from a misdemeanor to a felony. So please give the police props in this case. If we can knock the police, if we can talk shit about the police, we also have to be able to give them props when they do the right thing. And that's what I'm going to do in my video. If y'all not going to do it, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Props to the police in this city for doing their job and for doing their due diligence. Thank you. Because this is some bullshit. I don't feel bad for her. I'm not sipping on her white tears. Fuck that shit. Throw this bitch in jail. I don't care how much time she gets. Because I'm tired of females lying about something as serious as rape. Especially when you have females like me and many other women out here who have been through this shit. So let's keep that shit real, okay? You have a lot of women who are scared to even come forward with real rape allegations because they're scared that their situations will not be taken seriously because you have stupid chicks like this who make up false rape allegations. When you make up false rape allegations, you make it harder for real victims because there's real victims out here who are real victims of rape. But unfortunately, the system spent time and money in a hospital evaluation and everything else on somebody who was lying when all of those resources could have been used towards a real victim of rape. So I have no sympathy for this broad at all. You were old enough to sit here and make up a story. You put a lot of unnecessary stress on not only your fiance, but the police department, the hospital staff, and everything else. So if you're grown enough to spin this stupid-ass wives' tale, 
Bitch, you're grown enough to go do some time. Point blank, period, okay? So I don't feel bad for this bride. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.